When I'm working at my desk, I use Post-its a lot, but now I'm gonna switch to a dry erase board. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm sitting at my desk. This is a place where you work. You wanna write down a little note, write down a little strategy, some sort of tip, something you don't wanna forget. Well, you can do all of that on Post-its and stick them all over the place. And I thought, man, it'd be nicer if I had something bigger and something that I could just reuse. And so I found this. It's by Quartet. It's a glass dry erase board that fits right on my desk here. Let's unbox it and take a look. So I am surprised that I didn't discover something like this before because it seems pretty cool. And it looks like it's really convenient. Now, I've seen some of these in different shapes and sizes, but I really like this one and I really loved the price point on it. Quartet is a name that you know. They have been building dry erase boards and office equipment for a really long time. So the first thing I will tell you about this is that this is glass. I was actually worried about it breaking and I was thinking, well, maybe it's not real glass, but that's real glass. And that looks like it's, you know, I don't know, five millimeters, four millimeters thick. So kind of cool right there. And then you can write on that. And then the white part is basically a backing. So it's going to stay nice and glossy. And even after you use this a lot of times, it's not going to uh, kind of wear or show any wear or scratches, especially compared to some of the dry erase boards that I have used before. I think it's more like a vinyl or something on the top. That kind of material can kind of soak in the dry erase marker. And if you've seen them cleaned many times, you can still see what's there. So I like the fact that this is glass. You can see we have have a nice, I'm going to say this aluminum or some sort of alloy, a little tray up here, a little curved tray, so I can put the dry erase markers, I can put pens, whatever I need, and that's kind of nice. It's got a kind of a bead blasted silvery matte finish, and it just looks premium. It almost kind of reminds me of an Apple product, and I would say that this is about the same size as a keyboard, kind of a wide keyboard, you know, a keyboard that has the number pens. You know, I'd call this maybe, oh, 15, 16 inches long, in fact. Now, if you look at the side here, you can see the structure on it. This is the same color as this, but while this up here appears to be metal, this is all plastic right here. So you get a little arm right there. And on the other side, you have that same arm, but I'm showing you the back here because you can see we have a little plastic tray right here. So it'll come out this side. And I don't know if you can switch it. it looks like you can actually. So what you can see is you get this little drawer right here and I can pull that out and it looks like it's uh, got a detent. So it's not coming all the way out, but you can kind of just finagle it, I think. So you don't have to worry about it sliding out and falling out. looks like we have some instructions. Ooh, and it does come with a little, looks like a black dry erase marker with a eraser on there. So that will fit in there. And then you can put some smaller things, paper clips, that kind of stuff. Now I'm just trying to see if I can pull this out. Yep, just kind of pivots all the way out. So to put it in, you want to pivot in like this. And this is nice because now if you're left-handed, right-handed, or maybe your desk is really cluttered with stuff, you can take this and I think then just pivot it into this side right here, just like this. Boom. So you can have it left or right side. So for me, I think I like it on the right side. I'm right-handed. And that's uh, going to be the most convenient, most open space on my desk. So it's just as easy to throw it in for just like this. And now, how does it write? Let's take a look. Let's say I'm working here. I just want to write down a quick note. Let's say, and I'm going to do it right here in the middle. Make a video. I might do that. Woohoo! Pete. Or you want to leave a note for a worker. I was here. You know, pretty cool. And I love the fact that this is larger than a post-it, so I could even do some diagrams. Maybe you're working on a matrices, you know, uh, money and happiness, something like that. Or maybe you want to do a, a Mickey here. Oh, hello. Right? Um, whatever it is, I just think it's really, really cool. Now, if I take the eraser side of this, and I just go over here, look at that, comes off. And again, like I said, because this is glass, as opposed to the vinyl or some of the other things that you might use, you don't have this residue sticking around. You don't have any of the old ink kind of haunting you many times later. And then, like I said, a, a, even a dry rag, you know, a terry cloth towel, a paper towel is probably going to just wipe all this off so you can reset it. So it's really glossy and nice looking, which is what I like. And I think it's going to be super useful without taking up a lot of space. Hey, if you want to pick up this quartet glass dry erase board for your desk, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.